Hi, it's Neffy, and in today's video, I'll be introducing you to my OC, Jade Moore. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this character. You probably know a little bit about her already. But in this video, I want to go more, a little bit more in depth about her as a character and what her role will be in my manga, The New Girl Effect. So starting off with some fun facts about her, I made her birthday November 7th, which makes her a Scorpio. And just some positive traits about Scorpios really quick is that they're very, very passionate about love, work, their hobbies, anything that interests them. They also tend to have this very magnetic, mysterious aura about them that draws people to them. Um, and they're very, very dedicated. And we can't have the good without the bad. So some negative traits that Scorpios tend to have our possessiveness. They could be very, very jealous and possessive in their relationships. They tend to be very secretive and they like to keep their emotions inside. And they could be a bit stubborn. And all of these traits actually sums Jade up pretty, pretty well. The only thing is she's not so much a jealous person, but she does take her relationships very, very seriously and can be slightly possessive but never jealous and just a few more facts about her is that she was born in shanghai china she's 5'8 which makes her you know a tall girl a tall stallion her favorite food is spring rolls and her favorite color is orange and some women who i used for inspiration for creating you know jade's character design her personality type were the goat serena williams josephine baker and flojo and as you can tell in this picture, she's working out. I made her a little fitness girly. She's very into her health. And in my story, she is on the volleyball team. She's actually the leader and she's very athletic, sporty, which is something I got from Serena and Flojo, you know, some of the greatest athletes of all time, you know, very, very prominent women in their um, fields. And that's something I wanted to showcase in Jade. And as for Josephine Baker, first of all, if you don't know who she is, she's an American born like French entertainer. She dances, she sings, she acts, she does it all. And something I also found very interesting, like a cool fun fact was that she was Picasso's muse, which I thought was really interesting. And now I'm using her as my muse. <laughs> Josephine was well known for her captivating beauty. The French people loved her. She was so alluring, mysterious, and just overall, a great great entertainer and that's something I wanted to embody in Jade all three of these women are just amazing um, very prominent in history and when I look at them I'm like I need a great character to represent these women these black women and I got Jade and I think she's perfect and now we're moving on to the part of what her role will be in the story. Don't worry, there are no spoilers coming up, but I do want to give you a little bit more information about what she's going to be doing in the story, her role, and like some of her interactions with other characters as well. So if Imogen is the protagonist of the story, I will say Jade would be the duoteragonist. <laughs> I hope I pronounced that correctly. It sounds right. Oh, well. Well, she's one of many duotragonists because stories could have multiple but she would be the second most important character to Imogen and some examples of other duotragonists in anime slash manga would be my boy Sasuke from Naruto Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z Mikasa from Attack on Titan and Zoro from One Piece and these characters are also fan favorites outside of the protagonist now, most Duoteragonist characters are portrayed as like sidekicks to the protagonist, but Jade isn't necessarily Imogen's sidekick, but I would say more like a, a big sister character. She does get as much screen time as Imogen, and you know, she's giving Imogen, I would say, advice or trying to lead her down a certain path basically it's how i'll word that without saying too 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 much their storylines do intertwine a lot and you will see them you know interact a lot throughout the story jade pops up almost every time and jade is best friends with victoria my other oc who i think i'll do next so i won't tell too much about their friendship in this video i'll save that for victoria's video but I'll describe their friendship as fun and unpredictable. Sometimes Victoria can stress Jade out, but she loves her and will do anything for her. 
her relationship status in the series is taken and even though you find out very very early in volume one like I won't say what chapter but you found out very early who she's in a relationship with but I want to keep that a secret a little longer you know keep the suspense up but there are a few contestants if you follow me on Instagram you know who the boys are so if you want to write down in the comments who you think her love interest is feel free and maybe if there's enough people in the comments saying who they think it is I might reveal who it is that's a big mic though also in the story she doesn't have a rival so there's no love rival um, storyline for her but there are some people she does not like throughout the series and you'll see it play out and how she interacts with them and how she deals with them too that's another thing <laughs> I'm gonna keep you know secret for a little while longer without giving too much away and before I wrap this video up I just want to briefly talk about some of her interactions with some of the other characters um, that are revealed so of course Imogen you know she's like not necessarily her light to her dark but she is always there for Imogen gives her advice she's kind of like the older sister even though technically Imogen is a couple of months older than Jade so Jade is like the little big sister and she's kind of always in Imogen's business, <laughs> like a lot, always wants to know what she's up to, how she's handling certain things and just wanting to be there for her as well. And like I said, she's best friends with Victoria. So if anything, Victoria is her sidekick <laughs> and they're always getting into some type of trouble, trying to find ways out of it. So I really, really love their dynamic. Now, as far as Charlotte, she does know who Charlotte is, so they do have some interactions in the story. Won't give too, too much away, but they do have screen time together. Um, and as far as the boys, hmm, what can I say to not give too much away about hey, who she may or may not be in a relationship with? Hmm. Okay, so let's start with Theodore, aka Theo. So they do have interactions with each other in the first volume and she does know who he is. And she thinks he's a bit of a, how can I say this nicely? A nerd a little bit. I did make him a weeb and I'll, you know, explain more about his character when I do his video, but she does think he's a little, you know, nerdy and into anime and video games and stuff like that. And as far as her interactions with Marcel, they don't interact really in the first volume but she does know him as well she does think he's cool and funny they do have scenes together some alone scenes as well so there's that um as far as her relationship with kai <laughs> she thinks kai is a clown <laughs> she thinks he's a joke at any time anybody, any of her homegirls brings up Kai's name, she does have the bombastic black girl side eye. She she can't stand when any story comes up about Kai. He stresses her out. And as far as Tobias, um she she doesn't know him, but she knows of him through one of the other characters which I, I can't give too much I'm sorry I know I'm speaking in cold like how Nicki Minaj speaks to the barbs in cold but I can't give too much away but I do think I gave enough away and that sh you should kind of think about who you you should be able to tell who she may or may not be in a relationship with <laughs> Okay, so that is all for this video. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much. I hope you're well entertained and that you got to learn a little bit more about my OC Jade and that you're so, so, so excited to read about her story and like who she is as a character and my manga, The New Girl Effect. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Kisses.